I just download the new version of the CCleaner, which is version 4. In this new version, there's a good new feature. It's called um, File Finder. What it does is find the duplicate file in your computer. You know, sometimes in your Windows computer, your hard disk is getting filled up by a lot of files, so you have less space. And um, the good feature of the CCleaner basically is clean up your registry and a temporary file. And with this new feature called File Finder, you can find up the duplicate file. For example, sometimes you had a like video, same video file or same movie file, putting different folder that take a lot of um, disk space. And let me show you how to do this. So first of all, you select the drive or folder. So if I want to select C drive, normally it's like a Windows um, operating system drive, need a lot of space. So I click C drive, you can choose other drive if you want. And then in here, it says match by name, size, modify day. So if, if you have um, files, had three um, options exactly the same, that will sh um, indicate it's duplicate file. And then you choose this option, ignore. So if it's zero size, you don't have to worry about. And read only, sometimes it's a um, very important file. Better don't delete that. File size under one megabyte. So it's like a small size file. You don't have to worry because if you're searching small size file, it may have a lots of lots duplicate file listing there, which is waste a lot of time to check them one by one. And system file, this one is very important. So in general, don't uncheck system file. Just take that so you can ignore system file because sometimes if you delete the system file, your Windows will crash. So there's no way to restore or it's very hard to fix that. So better leave that one. With hidden file, this one is a little bit tricky because sometimes hidden file could be a um, system file or could be just like some temporary file you can delete. Let me show you what I mean. So if I check ignore uh, hidden file, when I do search, so you only find those files. See, this one is showing in one of my media player. And uh, this one, I'm not quite sure. The general rules, if you don't know what is talk, what is file is for, or maybe not sure, just leave it, don't delete it because it may harm your computer. So if you go back, let's just uncheck this hidden file because sometimes we need to find a more duplicate file to delete. Okay, now I found a new one in here which is temporary file. So that one, a single file is 263 megabyte which is pretty big. And if I check the folder, I find out oh, this one is actually one of the screencast software called screencast Omatic. So that's temporary file created by this program. You can delete for sure. So I just leave this on the program folder. And in here, I'll delete that temporary file. Highlight that one. Before you delete anything, click this save to text file. So what it does, it will save file list of uh, this checklist just in case you, you delete the wrong file you always can change it back oh where is the file belong to I can restore or copy back to the previous folder so you won't get the system crash or you can fix system crash so I'll save this file to say to my download folder just save there for later on then now I, it's time to delete this temporary file so make sure you highlight that one and delete selection. Now that one's gone. So by doing this, it will save you 263 megabyte. Um, just imagine if you have computer with a lot of file, you may able to <coughs> start. Just imagine if you have a computer have lots of lots of duplicate file. This one is very helpful. And also in our previous video, I mentioned about how to use CCleaner to clean your registry and the temporary folder. 
so you can check our previous uh, video as well I'll put the link underneath of this uh, blog post you know, and also welcome to leave your comment and message and also anything you, you like to know and uh, just let me know in this comment and also you can leave the comment on our YouTube video thanks for watching see you on next vhow.net video